this guy kind of asked this question around like the goals of um, if the goal is to electrify the fleet of the world and blah, 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 blah. And, and Elon was thinking about it. And Elon says, well, look, the problem is, it's like, he knows the problem, right? So Elon, it was interesting, Elon knew the problem. But he said, basically, we are, there's no lack of demand for a Model Y. The problem is that we're now running out of people who can afford one. Yeah. And he said, you know, and he starts musing in his head and like, oh, we could get the price down, but we'd never get it down to 20. It's very hard to get that down to 20,000. We have to do, you know, and it's going to take a lot more time. And it was interesting watching him kind of struggle along with like how to do it. And like, I, literally, if I was there, I would have just been like, stop selling cars. Because yeah. the other half of it was, he was Building saying, right? no, no, don't just, if people can't afford cars, don't, you can't sell them to them. We talked about this before. Like you, you need to lease, they need to be able to lease it from you. Yeah, yeah. I, I could have a Tesla next week for $250 a week. Come on, Alan, I'll buy one next week. I'll give you $250 yeah, forever. There you go. You want, you want more money in your company? Happy bam, days. Bam, bam, Make bam, it go. Bam. Come on. How many people do you think in Australia can afford that? Well, they're happy to like, cost the well, they, they can afford two fifty. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe and maybe you True. can't, and that's True. fine. It still doesn't mean everyone. But this point of like going, it's like, oh, how do we get it more affordable? Well, if your goal is to electrify the fleet, then fucking electrify the fleet. Yeah. You know, you just took a fifty-six billion dollar pay pack. I bet you can get a two hundred billion dollar loan on it. Make all the cars with your own freaking money. <laughs> like, go on, invest in your belief. You know, drop two hundred billion. Just go to a loan. I think, go, you turn a bill. Yeah, no worries. Just, just turn that all into cars. You know, and you will. And, and the point being, because the thing which just broke my like, I was just like, God, can you work it out? Why are you not figuring it out? And it said, because he's like, oh, that, and then you're now we're going to do the robo taxi. And you're like, uh, there's a halfway point. <laughs> there's this halfway point, you know, between robo taxi and that. And all of the, and it's sort of like, it keeps talking That's about more driver data, correct? No, but the robo taxis will all be Tesla owned. So he says basically our fleet of robo taxis will be Tesla owned vehicles. And then anyone who owns a Tesla vehicle. House. Yeah, so they'll be Tesla owned. And then if you're a Tesla owner, you can click a button at any time and add it to the fleet temporarily. I'll give it to you for, give it back to the fleet for a week. You make money as the yeah. owner. Tesla makes money, right? Happy days. And, um, but right in the middle there are these people who would basically go halfway and you would have so much money pouring in. The thing is that you're going to have to have the upfront to build the cars because they're now all on. But that's the same as the robotax. So he's got the idea of the robotaxi. So he understands because who's going to pay for them? He's yeah. going to have to go get a loan and build them. And then they're going to have to make the money back from fares, aren't they? Yeah. That's how it works, right? That's how a taxi is. So, so the one more. in between yeah. is just a taxi you keep all the time, you know? And yeah. and so he so could have revenue out. coming in. Exactly. Well, when you're not using it as part of the deal, it just goes automatically to Tesla. Like they still make money, but you're also giving them money that pays off the entire, oh, like it's just like those factories that he's fired people is dumbass. He should have all of those factories working flat the fuck out. And on the stage, he was trying to nut it out. It was interesting watching it. I'm standing there going, why aren't I, why aren't I there? If I was there, I would ask the next freaking question and then I would have stacked it for him going, well, you just said this and you just said that and you said they can't afford it. So why don't you make it so they can afford it by not selling cars and just having your whole own fleet? And it's just basically two levels. And I mean, essentially what I'm talking about is RoboTaxi, hmm. but it's just a halfway point. You don't need a different vehicle. It doesn't need to be a RoboTaxi. It could just be Model 3s and whatever your lackey, whatever your spare capacity is, fill it up. And, and away. I, did, I won't go on more about it. I talked about it extensively a few weeks ago. But it was interesting listening to him talk about it um, I, uh, and, and just trying to figure it out live on stage. I mean, it was yeah, fun. that is a... Well, I think, the thing, I think the thing is if you jump straight to RoboTaxi, you're just missing out on a whole bunch of potential people who would be willingly paying one off from you and own it while giving it back to you to make more money as well as a RoboTaxi. <laughs> like, yeah. why, why It'd be nice if that you drop to your address and then it goes up and does it. Yeah, thing. I don't need my car right now. It's irrelevant. Yeah. I need it down there just parked no, up, no. taking yeah. up, occupying space. Yeah, waste. It could be free space because it's out doing Yeah. But anyway, that was the Tesla shareholder meeting. I, I hope he doesn't get in trouble for saying it'll be a $25 trillion company. I mean, it is a forward-looking statement. You can't, but... And he did qualify it by saying somebody else said it, Kathy or whatever her name is from Ark Invest. Oh, fucking man. Wow. 